Hey Mike! Hey! I'm looking for some really good games. Do you know where I can get some sweet deals on the internet? Oh, I think I do, I think I do. I think we have some great stuff here on the eBay and some sites. Sweet! I heard about eBay. Sounds awesome. Can I join? Yeah, sure. Come on, join in! Alright. Uh, so, what are we going to look for while we're here on eBay? I was thinking some uh, unspecific DS JRPGs. What okay. do you guys think? What if we type DS JRPGs? Or JRPG. That's maybe better. You know, I want a bundle of JRPGs, so JRPGs for DS sounds about right. That's too specific though. Let's go DS RPG. Now that I look at the name, it looks like something really strange. Like it looks some kind of computer part. Yeah. Hey, can you get me one of those DS JRPG adapters? <laughs> like, well. Alright, so type in DS RPG, but I don't really recommend the typing in this because if you do this then DS needs to be in the title. Uh, so I just recommend doing it like RPG. We you also got a really bunch of like common search things where it's like Mario, Pokemon. And then you hit Pokemon. video games. Right, right. And then so Dream Team is actually on top of the... If you search for RPG, and then you, hear you get you Dream search. Team. Yes, and it never leaves the top apparently because it's always been there for three pages. It's a top rated seller. So, Alright, so these oh, are... We are now in the DS video game section and we typed in RPG yeah we see. I oh I hate bidding on eBay yeah, same yeah it's always buy it buy now for it me now, buy it now I cannot deal with auctions I've, do I've dealt with some auctions sometimes it's usually with those obscure games which don't really get a lot of attention from anyone I know I will win for sure if I just put a bid on it but otherwise I avoid them I, I usually want to buy them now and get it over with because I sort of had this lust for a game and if you know, if that runs out, then it's, there's no point. And it usually does if, I, if there's an auction or something. There we go, so. in Azuma 11, that's a good one. With the really Japanese, cool Japanese cover, too. That's really great. So, one thing, DS games are very easily bootlegged, so that's why I'm always hesitant of buying them yes, on eBay. Yes, yes. But uh, especially since it's coming from Suzhou in China. You can count on it being fake, I guess. Probably. But hey, they have two copies, so we can always buy one each. Of course. But in Azuma 11, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Eight dollars. Yeah, critically acclaimed level 5 RPG for the DS. Yeah, it's, I've never played them, but it sounds very interesting. I've always wanted to play them. Senka has played them. Yeah. Uh, I've recommended it to a lot of people. Uh, our, you never picked them up yourself. No, our good no. friend Daniel became the biggest fan of Inazuma 11 because I recommended it to him. Uh, but uh, yeah, I never played it myself. And there we go, Inazuma 11 too. Yeah, so much... Uh, from China as well, right? But you know, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty tough. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of interested. It's been a while since I looked for it since I owned it. But how, how, how mm. expensive is Radiant Historia, for instance? That's actually quite. I'm curious too. But it, this is cheap. This the is game very got cheap. reprinted, so those new and factory sealed from Canada usually. Yeah. Are, it's just a regular box, you know. Yeah, it doesn't have that really cool CD box that it came in, which I didn't buy myself. However, for twenty twenty dollars, twenty Canadian dollars, it's a good deal. It's a great definitely. game. Yeah. My my opinion on the game a bit too dark and serious at times. Oh. Hey guys, this website it's a video game store in Canada, which I believe Senka you've been using as well. Yeah, definitely uh, a lot. It's uh, it's a cool site because all the games you buy from here are brand new sealed. So whenever you find something for a good price you know it's always in the best of condition as well um, they do send out the games in not the best packages but when it comes to boxes and stuff they always packages in boxes so it's all cool exactly um, I, I was recommended to this side from Senkei as well and they always do this as well if you uh, look over here you see uh, for DS games it's region free some of the DS games like if you would search for Soul Lost Robo for instance Let's see if they have it. Uh, Solatero go, goes for a pretty like bow. expensive price. Solatero, yeah, that's right. Be not. Yeah, the, their their search engine. Yeah, it's is really big. really weird. But uh, are these pop-ups coming up? No, too? they do not have it. No, they don't. Unfortunately, have it. however, when they did, they had the the one with the soundtrack. Yeah. And it said um, uh, 
you need a USDS to play this. Ah, yeah. okay. So, so it's a good thing if you're from Europe, like we three are. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no risk of buying a game that won't work. So you can trust them 100% with yeah, all of this Yeah, it's a really, stuff. really good site. I think the guys who runs this are really f big fans of video games because when they have these sales, they have like Atlas sales, yeah. Tails sales, so they really Always into great these bundles. things and then they, they know which games are related to each other and stuff. So. Yeah, definitely. So these are some really good guys. Yeah. yeah I've oh, and that one is still up. That's great. The Black Down Friday here, sales. Uh, at the bottom, we have... Um, uh, Witch and a Hundred Nights for 19 Canadian dollars, Ooh. which is a game I want to pick up. So mm. I'm happy the sale is still up. So wait, you only want to pick it up because of the sale now? Because you had some sp pretty spotty opinions about it. Well, the game. it's a game that I've been recommended from you and other people uh -huh. because it's a Senkai-esque game. Oh, yeah. However, for 59 dollars, yeah. I thought it was a bit too much to try a game. I did that with Fairy Fencer F, yeah. where I bought it for 60 60 euros. Only 39 here. Um, and I didn't li enjoy it as much as I thought I would. It was a bit fun, though. I do not regret it too much. But if for nineteen dollars for Witch and a Hundred Night, that's great. And Ultimax is a nice price here as well. Natural yeah. Doctrine twenty nine. That's good. They also had uh, Neptunia for the Vita up there. Okay, for the twenty four dollars. Yeah. And here's uh, Shin Megumi Tensei: Strange oh. Journey. Wow. Shin Megumi Tensei. That's oh. a game Dungeon of... Cruel for everyone. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a game I've been wanting to pick up for a long time. I, I, I really like Shin Megami Tensei a lot more than Persona 4, though. I don't want to hold hands with, with Chie. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm wondering, what's Steel Princess? That's a, is, it, is it a JRPG for the DS, the thing we were looking out for in the beginning? Uh, it was sadly out of print at Video Game Plus, but we can always take, go back to eBay. I'm just interested to see what it's like. Is it? Uh, have you guys heard about it? I believe it's a game from, uh, from the guys at uh, I've Sting, right? I've seen Ooh. this box before. Uh, hmm. I believe it's but a Steam game. It, it looks like the artwork from the guys who made Death Note, to be honest. If I just look closely. <laughs> I can't see it from here, it's very low quality. Steel Princess, let's just check something out. So usually when you browse eBay, you always go to Wikipedia to check what kind of content you're in for. Oh, it's a Climax game. Apologies, Climax. If we want to go back to... Wait, and Climax are known for... We should do this. Okay, apologies. Yeah, this is my browsing habit. I close my tabs all the time. <laughs> and but, I always uh, keep them open, so I always have a billion tabs in the end. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Climax are known for what, more exactly? Uh, Landstalker, I believe. Yeah. Ooh. Brack lost these guys. Wow. And Shining Force 1? That's this is good. Great. That's really good. Yeah. And I'm just going to throw it out there. The absolute best Dreamcast game. I don't care, give a fuck about Skies of Arcadia or Shenmue. Uh -huh. Furtra Athlete. 2K. What is that? It's like the best game ever. Camelot software were <laughs> in this as well. It is like a, a first Sports games game. made by Camelot are so good. And, right. and, and you, you got to do this 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 uh, Olympic Games track, and you got to do multiple things, and it's so arcadey, and it's so much fun. I've spent a, a hundreds of hours. The music on. is uh, most likely Motoi Sakuraba as well, mm. maybe. Of course, because it's can a you, can you check it's it a sports game made by Camelot, so yeah. it has to be. I don't know, actually. Soundtrack, no? No, okay. Fair enough. But you know what? I, it's I mean, developed by <coughs> Hitmaker, by the way. And you know, you guys know about Hitmaker? Hitmaker. Remind me. Yeah, please. They make shit. Okay, that's too bad. <laughs> they, they made Last Rebellion. And they recently went bankrupt. Oh. Okay, fair enough. I see. Hitmaker the shit. But maker. you know what? I want to know what Virtua Athlete 2K looks like. So if you can just look it up. Maybe I'll recognize the cover. I go for eBay. Yeah, eBay, definitely. And I want to know what price it is too. If it's a good game and you recommend it, then it is I'm just a fun game to waste your time with. And for me, it's also very nostalgic. Oh wow! Oh, something's going wrong. This is not my own computer, by the way, guys. So now we blame it on Mario. No, we just blame it on these stupid people on the internet that have to break the internet for other people. <sighs> Whew, thanks. I was At getting worried. Leith, 2K. I mistyped that, but we'll 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 auto correct it. Oh, that you know that doesn't look too appealing. If I just look at it that way, it is just a sports game, so don't get your hopes up. But it's a very fun sports game. If you have, if you can play it at some point. But when you like, when you talked about it, I was figuring it was wow, gonna be like a Japanese one. Yeah, it, was like <laughs> it comes with a spine card. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, you want a complete Virtual Athlete 2K <laughs> Japanese edition with a spine card? Here you go. Five dollars. Here goes all my credibility. I talk about a sports game for once, and I get bashed. <laughs> 
No, okay, look, it, I appreciate it. It's just like I was expecting it to be like a lot more cartoony or something. Especially no, since it's made by Camelot, you know? It is, it is pretty serious, so let's just quickly go to... Well, now, you guys can look it up yourself on a trailer or something. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Cool. The gameplay is just um, ridiculous. Speaking of Dreamcast and casual games, can we look up Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2? Because that's a game I want to pick up. <laughs> okay. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. For, the, P for the Dreamcast, right? Yeah, for the Dreamcast. Because I have the PlayStation 1 version. After Mike's generous donation, you were interested in the series after all. No, 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 I've been interested in... The second game is a game I played very, a lot on the PC. Yeah, yeah, of course, me too. The Dream Castle! I'm, I'm glad you're such a great <laughs> spokesperson for Sega. SEGA! Okay, so it's a cheap game. Perfect. Next. Perfect. Anything... Uh, let me see. I, I want a, a nice game. What's that game? What's, what's an SNES? It's a SNES. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> you don't know SNES? Yeah, I, I know the SNES. <laughs> I eat it for breakfast. Can't. Holy shit. Wow, that is ex expensive, but very cheap for a Chrono Trigger they, game. The boxes look really good, though. Yeah. Wow. Like four boxes in a row, which looks decent. That's unusual. I have to tell you guys about this one time. I was searching for Chrono, Chrono Trigger stuff. And I was really young back then, so of course I didn't have any money. But there's a special edition of Chrono Trigger which comes in a gold cart. Yeah. And it was it was like From the, Japan, right? Yeah, it was and it was made for winners of a specific like shonen jump competition, yeah, right? I've seen it. I, I've 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 seen it up close in Japan. How much was it? Oh. It is pretty expensive in Japan. It's called the Chrono Trigger V Jump cartridge. Yeah, 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 exactly. The box art is really bland, but it's indeed a gold cartridge, and it's pretty expensive. It's like 20,000, 30,000 yen, so that's like two, 300 euros. Jeez. That plastic in gold is worth gold. So this is a game that I would like to have at some point, but... Uh, oh, they have a nice looking box in the cartridge for $95. Yeah, but it's... Translated like to Spanish as well. So it's like a in case or something. Yeah. So this is the one that I have, which is which you can find for a lot cheaper. I, you so you see there's more Japanese come more popping up now. But my gripe with this is Chrono Trigger exists on the DS. And it's much better on the DS. True, yeah. true. It's it is extended in, in every way. Why why would you ex spend your money on the SNES cartridge in specific? Is it nostalgia? Why why do people put it into these ridiculous prices when there's obviously a better version out there? No, that's only much only because it's rare. That's yeah, all. Well, there's However, it's not rare because we have thousands of copies here. But, um, it is it is hard to find in the sense that a lot of people want it for their collection and they hold it in a high regard. So, uh, I uh, for me personally, I want to own it because I, it's one of my favorite games and I want to get get like all the versions for it. Hmm. And this is like one of the one of the ones I'm missing. And the same goes for this epic beast here. Uh, Earthbound, and it's in related, of course, because why wouldn't it be related? Just just look at those prices. Eight hundred fifty nine dollars, highest price. Like it's 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 really ridiculous to to get this, and this is why I I don't I don't have it. I have a Japanese collection, but not Earthbound. So maybe one day, but you know it is it is too expensive. Mm, of course. But you know, for instance, if you are interested in games here, um, let's just go to Hit Japan. Hit Japan. Can you do that? Like search sellers? Mm, no. Uh, if you know what he sells, then we could probably get closer to him. Yeah, I, I, I would like to do it on a different way, but I don't think some people here in the room will agree with my route. <laughs> oh, is that so? Can you explain that route? Uh, no, that's that's, uh, no, it's it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's just I would I'd like to use Google and uh, things like that. So um, let us not restrict you. I'm use pretty your sure powers. this is Hit Japan. You can sense it, huh? Hit Japan. There it's we go. The power. You got that hit, man. <laughs> so Hit Japan is a Japanese video game store that's been selling on eBay, and I would recommend these guys if you want to get some stuff from Japan and you're not do not know somebody in Japan or you're not actually there. Mm. They sell tons of stuff. Too bad they don't sell DS and PSP yet. A lot maybe. of discounts. It That's seems too bad. Twenty percent off. It and I saw like there's a lot of discounts down there too as well. Speaking of the Nintendo DS, 
and especially the PSP has a lot of great not only JRPGs but a lot of great uh, exclusives yeah. Uh, recently, when I got the flashcard for the DS, I looked up all these fan translations. Yeah. And knowing that there are like 10, 10 really, really strong games uh, translated, which I put on my flashcard and bought on eBay. Yeah. Uh, imagine how many games are not translated. Mm. Like, there should be a bunch of Japanese exclusive DS games. And, It'd be nice uh, to get to know what games there are. Because yeah. there's there's so many games that we don't really know about from Japan. Every time exactly. I see a Japanese title, sometimes I go like, like "What? The, What's uh, this thing?" Like the Lagrange Point or whatever it was called. Lagrange Point. Uh, can we look it up later? Maybe make a new tab. Oh, that's fine. We can do it in here. <laughs> they probably have it. It is a recently re a fan translated game. Wow. For the Famicom, this, this is a book. This is a guide. Is they a guide sell a lot of guides here as well. So okay, uh, that's cool. But let's just take a look at the guides. We can get a. Um, impression of what it looks like at least. Well, they have a lot of old school guides here, but the only thing is shipping is pretty high. Oh, that's right, this one. <coughs> the, the one with the extended uh, music chip and stuff. Yeah, but Happy Console Gamer did a glowing review on this mm -hmm. as the fan translation is out, so... Uh, I think though, honestly, that the prices will be jacked up now since a lot of <laughs> yeah. people watch Happy Console Gamer. Yeah, <laughs> but, obviously uh, it has an effect. But uh, you know, there's a lot of games like this that that that, that you can find. Uh, I just did a price on higher so you can f see like the programming box, yeah. which is absolutely wow, ridiculous. That, that reminded me of the uh, the PC from uh, from Steins Gate. <laughs> oh yeah, the IBM uh, 100. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can make our own time machine now with a Saturn pre-production machine. But you can see Neo Geo. But this one is especially uh, if I would ever win like the lottery. Lottery, I would all love to own this. It is a uh, summer carnival rack up. Oh. It is a uh, shmup for the Famicom, and the scrolling on this is so smooth. It is, I have no idea how they got this out of the Famicom. But the good awesome. thing about this, it's released on the 3DS eShop. So oh. it's only a couple of euros instead of a thousand bucks. Ah, that's convenient. So in Japan or for us as well? I believe it's in the West as well, but wow. I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, I have to I have to look it up, but so, it's a really cool shmup, and I emulated it, and I really enjoyed my time with it. So uh, cool, cool. <clears throat> is it just the is it just the graphics that are nice, or is it the actual game that's really good also? The graphics are nice, but it's the speed and how fast. It's like a bullet hell shooter on yeah. the Famicom. Oh, that's a very yeah. impressive feat. It is. It is that really cool. requires a lot of processing power. Yeah, no, it's it's ridiculously awesome. It's. Uh, but you know what? Ooh. I really want to check out some. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. how did that pop up exactly? As I was gonna. Mention Mike it. has that one though. Yeah. I I just wanted to look into Mother Three to be honest, not like the Game Boy Advance itself, but. The Mother micro actually looks really good. Yeah, the, and it's really nice to hold. Also, I was. Surprised. I'm not a big fan of the system, like for 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 playing games on. However, it's a really nice looking system. I think it's really comfortable. Definitely. It's small and it's... it's yeah, I have nice. two of these. It I does have not the, have the link cable port. The screen yeah. is a little bit too small. However, the games look really nice on it. Yeah, but that's, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, like, it's way sharper than any other of the Game Boy yeah. Advance. Personally, the SP is always going to be the best Game Boy Advance. It's, it's, it's like me, cosmetically me, yeah. the best to hold in and everything, I feel. The PSP works as well. Really yeah. good. Uh, but, but I mean, I mean, out of all the Game Boys, of course. But I mean, you can play Game Advance on the uh, well, PSP. Oh, right. If you're gonna be that fucking into it, sure. Yeah, PSP. Yeah, but, just for the sake of the PSP, I have to, you know? <laughs> PSP is fucking Protect amazing. your pride. PSP is we love the PSP. But I'll have a child with my PSP. I'm gonna call it a P PSP baby. It is very expensive. Please, if you're interested in it, do not buy it. It is cheaper to actually book a flight to Japan, buy it for like 220,000 yen, 25,000 yen in like one of the super potatoes. And get a meal. And, and get a meal. All right, <laughs> and, and see a country, so. Hmm. But uh, yeah. Unless you're looking into the game, then you're not gonna Hit see Hit Japan is, is, a, is a really cool store, so what I usually do whenever I, I am down for some retro hunting, I just type my favorite series in here. Like Final Fantasy or Shin Megumi Tensei, and <laughs> and then we start dungeon crawling. And, and we start dungeon crawling, and then you see the special bug version of Shin Megumi Tensei 2 is 170 bucks. Is that a reasonable price? Uh, it's overpriced. There's like a bug in the game or something. Oh. I don't I don't own the PS1 and Game Boy versions, which are extremely expensive. 
But they have a lot of cool books, uh, which honestly I wish you could filter out of the results. But let me just switch it around. That's actually the cheapest one on the bottom. So if you're interested in getting started with Shin Megami Tensei, uh, collect for it and you know you have the money to burn. Would you hit Japan? You would hit Japan. Yeah. All right. Because so. uh, you know you can get a lot of stuff. You know, eight dollars. Mm, that's eight really dollars. You can you can beef up. And then this is just Devil Summoner. Oh, was that a Nocturne art book? And that is if you want to hoard, like wow, you just start the, like the one smaller. in the middle there. I like the cover. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a really good cover. Very simple. The shipping is a little bit tough, though. That's that's honest. The shipping is tough, but you can combine shipping. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you uh, usually what I did a couple years ago when I found out about these guys, uh, I bought like all the Dragon Quests and the Final Fantasies at once, and uh, you know it's a uh, I I search on Shin Megami Tensei. Of course, the tough thing with this is you don't actually have. It's not called Shin Megami Tensei Persona in uh, the. In Japan, it's just called Persona. It's just called yeah something uh, Megami Ibunroku. Oh, Persona. oh, you mean the original? No, that's the series name. I now they just xed it out, I believe. But <coughs> I see. if you just type in Persona, you'll see some nice nifty little personas. You know the best versions. For yeah. everybody who's into Persona, which is like half of the gaming community or yeah. more. So you get a lot of cheap ones. Of course, if you actually are in Japan, you can find them for like three bucks, five bucks. Mm. But this is a good way if you are... These are the things I really want to get. Like, look at, um, like, all these fan books, like the comic books and the Naoto, official Naoto book, like, with the future Naoto. It's just, uh, not only to, like, see the uh, artwork, but it's sort of nice to own. It's okay, a, that's really cool. It's the artwork by the same guy who made it all the artwork. It says Shin Megami Tensei Cross or something else. It's no, Cross Fire Emblem! It's finally out! Oh, no, it was actually Persona Cross. Yeah, they have a lot of cool books here. I I bought a couple of them. You see here, this is uh, this is now to all grown wow, up. Wow, look at that! It's, it's really it's, cool. It's, it's a Nagi. It's actually cosplay. her. <laughs> it's her new motorbike persona. No, it's Android. Sorry. So this is Igus's brother, basically. I think it what? was. What? Yeah. They bring a lot of elements from everything in it's here. Mitsuru? No, it's Naruto, doing the cleavage thing. Oh, that's well. She she failed out. She already was filled out according to the game, so. Look at this guy's like, yeah. I know what you mean, Arrow. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. Puffu, puffu. <laughs> and then this is the other woman is like, I don't know what you're talking about. It's really cool. Uh, it's really nice. So, uh, Hit Japan. Video Games Plus. And what if you, you can't find Those it are... on Hit Japan, you just hit Japan for real and, and get a meal. Of course. But one thing I really want to watch, want to take a look at is, is 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 Mario's, Mario's Holy Grail, Sakura Wars or Tyson, depending on how you want to approach it. Yes, indeed. Now that uh, I received a uh, Saturn from our good friend Iro, we're actually gonna have a lot more fun with the Sakura Tyson series because it originated from the on the Saturn, and it has so many sequels and spin-offs on it. Uh, yeah. But for the most part, what you s you'll see here is just a bunch of figures and... <laughs> or love dolls. Yes, mm, or love dolls. They're so cute. Those dolls are extremely expensive. Uh, they're, it's a special kind of doll called Dolphy, I think. And uh, basically you can dress them up in all sorts of outfits. And it's really high quality stuff. But That's it's nice. It's just... Um, well, I, I wouldn't invest in it. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And then we have like stuff like art cells, which I own a couple of. Uh, they go for a you own a couple price. of them. right. Yeah, I, own, I own two. But you better did, lock your door, they man. They did not. They did not <laughs> go for this price. This is over exaggerating a bit. Although I was tempted when I first started collecting Sakura Tyson stuff, and I did not know what kind of selections there were out there, I was actually considering it. Okay. If you guys can believe it, I was like, "Wow, wouldn't it be cool to own like an actual thing from the product?" It, I mean, these are actually unique things. It's not like they're copies or anything like that, so it would it would have been nice. So there's only one each of those. Yeah, I would buy it if it was wow. like Spirited Away or Studio Ghibli. But they have those as well. Yeah, I know. So, but that's that's why they're so interesting. And I got a really nice one with like the whole team on one picture, and that kind of thing is super rare. Like you, yeah, awesome. you can't imagine how hard it is wow. to find those. But I got it for really cheap. Like I, I think I got it for like, what was it like, 
ninety dollars or something. Sweet. Oh, awesome! I mean, awesome. Sh- sure, it's it, eBay. eBay is overcharging everybody. Yeah, but I bought it at Buyee, which is another really great website. We, uh, we should talk about that website in just a second. But let's just keep checking this out for a second. I just gotta mention the joke I made. Out how how I won one of those from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. With the character Cell. Oh, I'm <laughs> go ahead. Cell. And then we have a, It's like a meta cell. Cell on a cell on a cell. But yeah, it's the perfect. <laughs> it cell. is cell the perfect on cell. a cell making a selfie. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. <Good> wow. <laughs> okay. Self-referential there, yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect this is nice, selfie. Nice. <laughs> right. I, I, I already have a few figures from this. I really want the manga series, which I'm going to buy in German because it's officially translated into German. And I understand German. Ah, du sprichst Deutsch. Yeah, aber sicher. Oh. Aber nur ein bisschen. Ich habe es gelernt in Schule. Also. <laughs> wow, <laughs> stop it, guys. Und auch am Televi, Tele, oder sowas. Okay, we anyway. have German fans as well. There right? we have the DS Fantastic. game. Fantastic. Yes, uh, the DS game, yes. So uh, there's a lot of spin-offs and everything. How much did you pay for that one? Uh, way less. That is not the right price. Uh, there's another seller on eBay whose name I can't pronounce because it's just a bunch of letters scrambled together. It's like three J's. Yeah, it's like Y Y Y Y J J A H H L. Oh like, yeah, that's the guy I was talking about as well. Yeah, and that's the guy who blocked me after a certain incident happened when I bought something for Senkai. I bought him an East box um, and it came in a really bad condition and I actually just I t- yeah. talked to him about it. I was I was wondering what we could do about the problem. Like how do we assess this? And he blocked me. So uh, I, I didn't want to approach him or anything like that, but then I started buying from him again because he had really cheap stuff there. I think yeah. that that box that went for like hundred dollars, which it shouldn't go for, went for like twenty dollars. Yeah, he's a, he has some really cheap stuff. Yeah. It is funny. Free shipping I, too. I had the exact same experience where I bought some Metal Gear Solid ones. Yeah. Had a bad experience, and then a couple years, like last a couple months ago, I bought like the Shin Megami Tensei box sets. Yeah, like you you forget that he was doing a bad thing. But his it, the name is so recognizable because it's just yeah, like you, Y L T R V U. Let's let's, let's try to find, find it. Him. Yeah, cause I, I'm oh no, sure. I, I can easily find it because I have it in my eBay's uh, eBay. But just, then, wait, let's do it through the Sakura Wars thing, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's gonna be fun. So uh, go go to the cheapest like uh, options. So search you, for. You always have these Google images, you know. For the games. No, actually, it's usually he has. Oh wait, so this, this is could, him. This, this could is be him. it. This, this could be him. it. This could be it. He always capitalizes his stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's Japan Trust. That's the other good, good yeah, one. That's, that's the yeah. other good so one. So there's there's three good ones. There's Hit Japan, <laughs> Japan Trust seven seven seven, and then there's like why 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 blah 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 blah. We'll find him. We'll find him. He's gonna be here. He's gonna be in the cheaper parts of this. Ah, I see. There's some cells that are at least cheaper priced. Yeah, they're they're reasonably priced, and there's so many of these figures that I actually want. They're they're. Actually, High quality for what they sell for. Now th- this, like the sixty dollar one, is a bit too much. For example, but because I find them on Buy for like you can get four or five of those for like th- that price, so it doesn't really matter. Art books, I have a lot of them. I I, I fall I fall in love with the uh, Sakura Wars. It's, I got a lot of stuff from it, and I'm trying to spread the love. I'm I'm probably gonna put up a bunch of videos about Sakura Wars sooner or later. Uh, Sa- Good the, idea. Sa- the Saturn ones, the Saturn ones, those games I really want to get now that I have it. Yeah, especially the puzzle games, which are exclusive on the Saturn, uh, which Ario Dynamish actually considered before sending me the Saturn, which is a great thing of him. Yeah. But uh, yeah, oh, we. Oh, this is really cool too. You see up here, there's like a T-shirt bundled with the GB uh, GB color game. That's nice. I actually bought that recently in a very special case where each of the characters, there's basically a collector's edition for each of the characters, and uh, yeah, cool. I bought I bought one of those characters, so it's really cool. Oh, and that's one a fucking good game right there. All of a sudden, it just shows up, Naruto. Because it's called Naruto Gekiten Ninja Tyson, ah, with course. Sakura, of, of course, being Hinata. a girl. Oh, so that so makes Sakura sense. Tyson. <laughs> just to get, get some just more letting you sales. know, guys. I already show you this. If you you're a fan of our channel, I walk, I show you these guys in one of my pickups. But uh, yeah, that's one of the best fighting games ever Ooh. made. Right up there with Street Fighter Three Third Strike. It's just as good. This up here is actually a really good price for all of the Sakura Tyson games on the Saturn that are exclusive on the Saturn. I think. I don't think there's, it's missing anything. So this is all the Saturn games exclusive. Is this is this is the Hana? This is the Tetris-like game because yeah. I think I own this one together with one and two. Yeah, and there should be another puzzle but game. I also, have, I had the first game with like a nice sleeve around it. The box for two looks so good. Yeah, the, the one with the sleeve actually. 
That that's the first one I saw. That this is the first time I encountered Sakura or Tyson, and that was when I was way way younger. I'll probably bring it up at some other point, but yeah. Some great music. Sakura Tyson has some amazing music composed by uh, Kohei Tanaka, I think it's called. Really great composer. Did the music for Gravity Rush. This is the guy. Free shipping. He offers free shipping all the time. This is the guy. No. No, not yet. Okay, so he's even cheaper. He's this even is the guy. Yeah, it's used in small, small letters. No, play no, Japan. Let's play Japan. That's also good. Play then this it. is the guy because he's always. The we cheapest. have to go cheaper and cheaper all the time. No. Solaris. That's also Solaris a good one. Solaris is also a really good one. Solaris always brings those uh, plastic bags for the games. Mm, yeah. So sometimes I've been thinking of buying uh, cheap games just for those. I like those. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> the easiest option we have here is to find them is to actually. Search for the cheapest alternative. Oh wait, actually, th there he is. I think he is. So go to the sac yeah, the limited edition box for Sega Dreamcast. I th he should have free shipping though. Yes. <laughs> so Y J J Y H J G F U. It's J -U. only two J's oh, though. God. But yeah, I was close. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pronounce it with some finesse. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Rolls off your tongue. But yeah, so this guy's amazing. Let's check out his, uh, his eBay store. Yeah. His I, I did 16,000 things he sells. He has wow. some really great stuff, hey, seriously. I've been browsing a lot of his stuff. and Idle I really DVDs. Like his stuff. Take a look at Rondo some. Blood. No, I'm interested in some idle DVDs. You just want to see the prices. I'm actually interested in so, idle so DVDs as well. Now. Oh really? Yeah. Let's go back to the idle DVDs afterwards. <laughs> Let's make a new channel. Oh. Exit on idle <laughs> DVDs. <laughs> Ooh, it's gonna be interesting. Okay, so this is this is a mistake on his part. He was gonna write in uh, thirteen dollars and eighty cents, <laughs> but it was like, oops, and then he's gonna re he's gonna put it back later. So it's Rondo of Blood, a very expensive game. Yeah, right. Yes, uh, it is, yeah. but it, not that expensive, is it? It is. Okay, that's a good price actually. All right, that's a good price. See, that's the thing. The, you have this on the PSP bundled with. One of the better versions of uh, Symphony of the Night, yeah. plus a remake of it. Of course, the remake is not as good as the original, I think, personally. And you're forced to play the remake to unlock the other two. Yes. Perfect. But uh, idols, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, games. So, GFGFGFGFG, he sells PSP, one supposed to hit Japan, mm -hmm. which just don't have it, but they have the cool stuff. So here... Ooh. Limited edition Black Rock Shooter. That's for a really $17. cool box. It comes with a really a cool, cool Figma. Well. $70 and it comes with a Figma actually. If, if that's the right box. And the reason why the box art is so awesome, you can tell me why? Uh, yes, because it's actually developed by... Uh, there was this up and coming JRPG developer. And uh, they were doing these really unique and uh, special JRPGs. And they were working on Fate X-Ray if you guys know it. Image Epoch. Yeah. Image Epoch, thank you. Uh, but yeah, and those guys hired some really great artists to work on their games. Of course, uh, the guy who drew the artwork here is the Steinsgate artist. Yeah, and I, I guess that's the answer that. we're fishing yeah, for. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was hoping for the Uke answer. It's yep. the same artist. You can't really, really see it here. It's the same guy that Steinsgate. So, yep. uh, that's Mayuri going all badass. Yeah. <laughs> Mayuri teaming up with part-time worker and, uh, and then it's like a white... Amane like, and like yeah, got to be an exclusive character for the new game, of course. Oh, of course, yeah. But uh, could you could you go up and search in his shop? Yeah. For Shining Blade. Hmm. Shining Blade. That's a game. This is something special between me and Senkai, because no, uh, Senkai and I. That's fantastic. Told us that uh, one. W there's two games for the PSP that are related to Shining Blade. It's uh, Shining Blade and Shining Arc. And so yeah. Senka and I was like, okay, so we're going to buy one each. So which one do you take? And Senka was like, okay, I'll just go with Shining Blade. And I was like, yeah. okay, I'll take Shining Arc. I'm a fan of those characters. I've been looking at them. I've also been looking at, uh, listening to the music and been looking at the gameplay. And then I uh, listened to Joe when he was talking about the game. Yeah. This is a game I want to play, definitely. Yeah. But... Uh, it's a nice price. It's a bit of a well, commitment. You have to like look up uh, screenshots on a website. Yeah. It's a blog kind of site where you can just read the story. But it's not a problem. That's I've been no, doing that, that before, works. and that it's works. really fun actually. So, but, but definitely, I've been looking forward to that and art for a long time because they are like spiritual successors to Valkyria Chronicles. But uh, the only thing I, d I wasn't a fan of was the character designs. That's it. So and here we are here. 
So this is actually a pretty nice one as well. I still need to pick this up, but it's actually Which one is that? This is the remake of the original Saturn Devil Summoner. The one that came before Solaker. Yeah. It's the same main character, is it? It looks very similar. So no, uh, it's no, it's it's a different story, but the gameplay is similar. So you have Devil Summoner, then you have Devil Summoner Soul Hackers. And then you uh, down the line they had Raido Kuzunaha on the PS2. Oh, okay. yeah. Those are really different. Up yeah. close he wasn't very similar, but you know, from far away he looked like the guy from Soul Hackers. It is a pretty unique story. This is the only one that's not uh, in English yet. Mm. But this is a pretty unique story where you play as this main character and his girlfriend they are being uh, attacked by the serial killer. Oh. And then the guy actually gets killed and then there's, there's this medium who takes over his body or like spirit in his body. Yeah. And then they gotta find and save his girlfriend and, and find the serial killer. Wow. Ghost trick. It's a re yeah, something like that. It's a really cool premise from what I've gathered mm. so far. It sounds awesome. And it's typical, you know, do you do you even dungeon crawling? It's yeah, yeah. awesome dungeon crawling. So. Sounds awesome. And it's on the PSP, so it's a perfect format. This was gonna be translated. They were like they were working on the translation, I think. But then the PSP dropped in popularity or something, and they decided to just skip out on it. Yeah. Persona 3 Portable got out, obviously though. So. But they have some uh, some some good stuff. There here. are a bunch of Shin Megumi Tensei games for the PSP in English. We have Persona 1, Persona 2, Persona 3. Is there anyone else? We have to watch out so people don't oh, think we're nine. serious when you say Megumi. It's like okay. If it's a running joke, we have. All right, good. So, like I mentioned, I bought this one. It is dirt cheap. 33 bucks with yep. shipping you get a this is the biggest box i have yeah it's huge it's huge you made an unboxing of it which yeah. is amazing and then you have this one is also also very cool yeah, yeah. he sells a lot of safe. awesome stuff so and this is just f using his store for buying stuff i'm i want to get but he has some i believe he has some really really crazy stuff like xeno saga and stuff that i know exists all right. So Sino Saga. If you scroll down just just a little, you'll see Sino Saga Episode Three. Oh, oh here it is, Sino Saga oh, Episode here Three. Here's that game. Gekka no Kenshi Final Edition. Oh. Made by Playmore, so it's something SNK-ish. Oh yeah, it looked like a fighting game. Oh, the Last Blade. Yeah, the Last Blade. I heard of that one. Oh, Last Blade. Was it, was it anything interesting? Because the game looks fun. I just want to show you that the Japanese cover, the one right here, mm -hmm. it's the same as the US, but she's. Um, it's a painting and not uh, not CG graphics. I think it's a pretty cool touch. If you if you go scroll down or something. I know I don't know if it's the same one, but the American the American cover looks very similar. Oh yeah, it doesn't have. But any. it's in CG graphics. So, hmm. so I think this, this cover cool. brings back some great memories and also very cool. Namco always has some really cool 2D art as well. Namco Bandai. But yeah, I don't know. I I just love checking out art books and Japanese art in general. Ah, Valkyrie profile, excellent choice. I wonder excellent if he choice. if he has the box. Hmm. There, I know there are. He has the Silmeria one. Yeah. That is really cool. But I don't see the first Red one. There's Lenneth, a right? there's a very nice box that is kind of similar to the Skies of Arcadia ones. Yeah. You have like that size and with with a uh, Lenneth in front of it. Yeah. It looked really cool. But what does that have inside though? Is it any cool? I don't actually know. I, I just know it exists. I've never really looked into it. Ooh, so. Okay, so it's like a mystery package. It is It is kind of a mystery package unless you, of course, look up a, a unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to spoil the surprise. I'm just going to buy it for a really high price and just open it to see what is inside. Ooh, he's selling the sealed blade. Is it sealed? No. Oh, well. This is the only one I don't have together with that other one that is extremely expensive. Mm. Which, uh, let's see, they don't have it here, but uh, it's Thracia oh, 776, the, the limited edition. At the bottom we have Seima no Kiseki, the the coolest box art ever. Yeah. Hmm. Sacred Stones. Really it looks cool. really much like the one we got. Isn't it the same artwork? No, the character is... <laughs> no, 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 no. Hmm. Alright. It looks similar. From the thumbnail, at least. Yeah, and maybe the character are the same pictures. That's an art book. But uh, the background and everything, composition, looks good. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But it's just, I was figuring the characters, just the characters. What's this Fire Emblem art book, the one in the corner? This one? Yeah, is it for the new one as well? For Awakening? I don't know. Because I can't tell by... The, yeah, it is, right? The art style is... I have no idea what this is. I've never seen it before. Oh, okay, so this is the illustrator for uh, Fire Emblem. The one, the new one, uh, for Awakening. So it's the the person. I think it's a woman, 
who drew the artwork for No More Heroes uh, oh, and a lot yeah, of other wow. manga stories. So basically, yeah, she's she's really really popular in Japan, and she was brought on to the project to work on uh, the new Fire Emblem. Awesome. I think she made uh, Ranko's Last Day or whatever it's called as well for the PS3. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Nice stuff. Right. Well, No More Heroes 2. There's a box in Japan which looks really, really a very nice. very cool box. A specialty box? Yeah, it's yeah. it's really special. It's it has it has a very erotic comic in it as well. Super strange. Oh, hey, Klonoa as well. Nice. This book is really cool, by the way. Ah, they don't have it. It's a really cool box. If you go on eBay, maybe if you want to get out of the store. Oh yeah! Wow. This is a really cool book. I have it. It has all the characters in there for like the f all the way up to Tales of Zillia, mm. like character pages and sketches. Okay, and I, I'm buying it when I get home. This I, I I really really recommend. Yeah, it. Yeah, I'm buying it when I get home. Definitely. This is def wow. that's That's extremely cheap. Mm. I have bought it for like thirty ish or something. How many pages are there? Shipping. It's like a thick one, like five hundred wow. pages. Whoa. What are you serious? Five hundred pages of sixteen dollars. This is this is uh, like this price. Like this is fantastic. I'm getting it. You should get it. What if I get it before you? I mean, we're at my place right now, and you won't make it. Oh, home go go down. Let's see the condition. It says used, but excellent. Wow, yeah. that's so a good one. That, that is more than triple S. It wouldn't in surprise Japan. me if when you get this, it's actually in like a plastic sleeve, no. which yeah. is how I got it. Yeah, this is but a from, really good but from one. I still got it. You still, yeah. still think so? Yeah, no, definitely. You know, he he's do, does some good stuff. So uh, I think the thing that happened between me and him and the East box was one. different. Like it was a different problem altogether and it is a it's a great book uh i believe i actually bought it from this guy as well oh together with the dragon quest so then we uh, have we have ira's word for it that it will be good so i have to trust ira for it so he has a lot of these smaller just standalones yeah, as well but th that was really thick too and I, I think i saw it once and it was really thick as well and that is sometimes a tough choice i have to make because i just look up the pages it was like 200 pages or something yeah. and i was like Meh, I'll not go for it. But, but this like, one, I, I love this one. The Vesperia, really cool. I know for sure, it, it was really thick. So I think the Exilia one that, is equally that thick. That book is awesome. Yeah. I've, I've actually uh, met a guy uh, who had it. So it yeah, I cool. think when we were at the signing for Hideo yeah, Baba, exactly. we saw it, yeah. Oh, hey, nice. That's a good price. That's a much better price than the thing I paid for. Mm. But I, yours was like factory sealed, right? The one you got for me. Not factory sealed, but, but it, it was in excellent condition in one of those plastic bags, <laughs> <All right. laughs> which I like so much. Then it's all right. And hey, look, it's my favorite uh, Tales of Her, Pascal. By far my favorite. <laughs> or just character, I think. I like her. That's a great picture of Aspel. This one. Wow. Ding, 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 ding. Aspel. <laughs> Aspel. Asbel. They, they have some uh, some cool stuff here, so uh, I've not really been looking into the Tails collection padding, so... You're a Sakuraba uh, fan, you really If you're a big music. fan of Tails, you know, you just gotta get a copy of Tail Concerto, of yeah. course. <laughs> oh, I want this gamer. T yeah, Tails Concerto is... It is from Solo to Robo, guys. Yeah, right? exactly, yeah. so it's actually a must-have. Uh, speaking of which, Shabu Connected is making a new game. Very excited, very excited. Exciting! Bike! But this has been great, I mean... Maybe we've been looking enough for now. Yeah, Seika knows I think what he so. wants Maybe. to get. I think I know what I want to get too. I'm gonna look around for m some more Sakura, Definitely. ties and stuff. And also Shining Arc. <coughs> I might as well get it now that I have. Detached. After when I get home, I might. I will pick up the book for sure. But maybe it's the right time to get Shining Blade. Now that now that I got into it, you know. All right. A bit more. So I'll get it Shining Arc. It combines on it combines on shipping. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Exactly. That's the, that's the idea. Look for Shining Arc before we leave. Before we leave this beautiful store. Or before I leave. Oh right, you're this going country. back. Yeah. It's been a long journey, but oh well. Well I guess that's that's it. Oh it's maybe let's see. No, I'm sorry, I'm in the book section right now. Oh, is it so? Yes, I'm in the book section. Oh we have some cool shining force stuff. Shining Force 2 and 1 had such a great art style. Or was I not in the book section? Well let me try it again. Ah, you know what? One more thing I want to look for before you before we leave all together. Sure. Just one more thing that's really important to me, and that's the uh, Dragon Quest figures. Oh yeah, the expensive ones. 
No, looks, no. Uh, they look so good. I just want the trading figures, the small ones, but sure, we can check them out too. So no shining art, but we can probably find. There it are figurines else. of the Dragon Quest hero, the the hero guy from the different games. Yeah. In their you know legendary yeah, armor. Yeah, yeah. And Those the, figurines are really cool. Those are especially the one for four. I think looks amazing. Yeah, the fourth hero is probably my favorite hero. Because he's just green and has cool well, I still hair prefer five, but the legendary armor for four looks amazing. Yeah. Five is special. Well, there's a bunch of enemies here. I actually want to get, like, the party members. Oh, Yangus. Yangus. For $17. Yes. Uh, Angelo there, too. Trunks? Yes, of course. White hair trunks. Is there any name in particular you guys want to search for? Uh, I'd, I'd, I actually like to go for the fun uh, Dragon Quest VI heroes, because I'm playing through it right now. Might make it easier. Dragon, uh, Dragon Quest, Quest VI. VI. We're in the figure, uh, like the toy department, right? So you can get the fi video games, or if we just go to the collectibles, maybe they have some cool stuff. Mm, there we ah, go. Ah, look, it's Fat Cell. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Where's Goku when we need him? So yeah, that's, that's the hero. I like what the hero looks like. He looks a bit more generic than the other ones, but... Uh, How big are these? Because they're pretty, they are pretty. look pretty cheap, you know, for 30 to 30 bucks and stuff. They might be, like, hollow, so, like, the plastic is sort of loose and stuff. But no. Oh, but they're very nice. detailed. Very good Oh, it's looking. on, like, a ruler as well. So yes, yeah, so it shows it's how big it is. pretty nice. 30 inches or centimeters, probably. Hmm. Just awesome. as thick as my... <laughs> <laughs> as big as your dog? <laughs> 60 millimeters, no, that, that... That's not too big. Yeah, that's not too big. So that's the size of your... Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you got... Oh! Stay classy, that's, that's stay classy. But, you know, it looks nice. It mm -hmm. looks nice. These are interesting. I've not really been delving into the Dragon Quest collecting site. But the thing is, Toriyama's designs are always so easily translated into figures, like 3D forms and stuff, because they're so blocky, you know? So they always look great. They are. Are we looking for a Chie figure now? No, we're not gonna go Chie. Oh. She's, she, she's been looked at quite enough. Oh, wow! Here we go! <laughs> okay. Some collectibles we have here, folks. Doshin C. Some sage porn here. Yeah, I was I was actually going to look up the Dragon Quest video game. That's games. the PS4. Yeah, you can uh, pre-buy it, and then somebody else. I've been doing this for the Persona Q bundle and oh. Curtain Call. Cool. You, I pre-buy it like maybe a couple of weeks before it, and then there's a guy actually in Japan who do goes outside. Do you pay for the game or do you pay for the pre-order? No, pay you, you, the you pay for the entire the thing. Oh, okay, okay, so I if see. if if he were to say you know you bought the pre-order, yeah. then I can open a claim. So, okay, that's but good. he 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 bought it and then he shipped it out. Yeah, but this is a little bit overpriced, you know. But yeah, you can see some awesome swags here, some Dragon Quest heroes. It's a really the cool collectible I really want for the Dragon Quest is the Wii, uh, like anniversary collection thing, which comes with the first, second, and third game, and like their GBA. I know, I think it was the NES uh, respective parts, SNES and NES parts. Yes, I uh, I know some people. There it is. This is. Yes, some people have it. It is uh, a lot cheaper than this. I found it in uh, Japan for, I would say, about 5,000 yen, so $50. And you can probably find it on Baiyi as well. Yeah, definitely. So. It's a nice looking uh, 3DS, but uh, I have quite enough. All of those 3DSs are absolutely not worth it anymore, because we have the new 3DS. <gasps> wow! Roto Sword! Oh, Loto. There's this really cool bar in Japan you gotta check out. They have some replicas. Yeah, you showed me a really cool clip of it, too. Should Hilarious. we call him Loto? Loto. Loto. I think it sounds nice. Loto. I never like to call it Erdrich. Cress, Cress. Yeah, yeah. Who the fuck's Erdrich? Erdrich yeah. is <laughs> Loto. <laughs> Loto. Makoto. We're so JP hipster anyway. So. <laughs> Might as well live the lives of those we are. Oh, was was that uh, uh, Dragon Quest IV? This one? Oh, no, no. no one yeah, of it's on the wow. PS1. Sealed one. One, sealed. That's the DS remake, basically, with different camera angles. And some less content, I think. Very mm. cool. Loto helmet. We can get the whole armor here. Why do we even bother? Oh, with the look games? at that one! Fantastic. Do you buy that for your figurine? 
I, I, yeah, Dragon Quest Legend items, I think, maybe. Wow, <laughs> that's really enough. cool. It's just like the, those Dolphy things I was mentioning before when we checked out the Sakura Wars things. You actually dress them up with really expensive wow. things. You know, the three, um, the, three, the three figurines we saw earlier for four, five, yeah, and yeah. six? Those were in the same size, all three of them, and same same looking boxes and everything. Maybe this is armor you can put on any one you want. I really wish cool. it would be e that easy, because I don't think you can lift their arms and stuff and put them in. Wow. Oh, the main character from it. He looks really good in that pose as well. That's Greg, right there. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. Pretty swag. For a man uh, who uh, likes RPGs. <laughs> 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 way to go, way to go. Yeah, wait, so those are uh, the music? This music? Oh, LP Records. That's that's really cool. Wow. This is some really, really obscure stuff. And some hero. Oh, hey, check it out. Not for resale demo, demo of the ninth game. That's like, that's stuff that you sort of want, but then you realize it's not even the full game, so you're like, S yeah, it's not really what we need. They have some cool stuff. Hmm. But there's so many games I've been looking into recently, like Steambot Chronicles is one of them. Uh, but, you know, for, for this month I'm thinking I'm going to lay low, because I already have a lot of things right now. Uh, Christmas is coming up. Yeah, and we need to save up for that. I actually got a Christmas gift for Senka already. One part of it, at least. Oh, wow, this is great. Like, this is the figure, and then he has the helmet on, I think, and yeah. stuff, and you know, the armor on. Do you think you replace his whole head, or is it just like you take the piece off? I don't know, I think it's just a piece. <laughs> oh, and that's a nice bundle there. Not the price, but yeah. Distribution card. Wow, what do you think that is? Do you think it's super ex like cool and stuff? It's just a store demo, I think. Ah, oh, that would be bad. But if it was like the actual full game, that's when I would hit it. Like, damn. I really want to play more of Dragon Quest Seven. We, had, I mean, nine. We had a great time, me and Senkai. Yeah. But we never really got too far, and uh, I partially blame myself because I was, I was just busy at the time. Okay. But it, it, both Emilia and Senke wanted to keep. Yeah, playing. Emilia was good at that game, really. Yeah, she got way ahead. Of the us. perfect mindset. She was like grinding and having so much fun. Yeah, it's, it's funny though. It's the same thing with Johnny Millennium. Yeah, his girlfriend is like all about Dragon Quest. <laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, I just love those kind of games where you sit down and grind and just enjoy the game for a long time. Yeah. Like all those dungeon crawlers and everything. Oh, wow, that, that's the figurine. Go up there. That's Ooh, the yeah, one. Yeah. That's the coolest This is an Ithian armor. It's like the coolest armor in the fucking world. Wow, it's really cool if you have the blue one and the Sinithian one next to each other. Yeah. And then the Dragon Quest VIII guy. You I know, am. in 4, he gets the sprite as well when you move around. I don't remember that. I'm sure? pretty sure he does. Alright. Because I keep thinking about Shining Force when you like uh, upgrade yourself. And then you get that new outfit. But I, I don't remember in 4. Because in 4 I played as the girl, first off. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I don't think she got a different outfit. Wow, is Kenshin that expensive? No, there are some cheaper ones. I recently looked into buying one. And there was one for like $35, but it had like a huge crease here. Which I didn't go for it. I got money for 80 crowns. Holy shit. Don't <laughs> tell wally Dustin, wally. don't tell Dustin. <laughs> ah, this is the book I bought together with the Tales of. This is also a really cool one. It has all the monster designs. Yeah, I think you showed that in one of your Yeah, videos. this is the one I did a video of. The Tales mm. one I still have not done yet, so... And then you were making up names for them as well as you were reading past. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, this is... I, could, I can't read the guy. Katakana, so... Uh, or not that good, and so yeah. I mixed up. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know the names of all of them either. I do love their designs and stuff, and they're really memorable when you see them, and, you know, you can talk about them, but the names I don't remember. But they always have some really jacked-up names that are really fun. All right, I'm done. All right, yeah. Cool. I think this is about time to wrap it up. But, man, great search here, and uh, we found some things we really wanted. Yes, Second, uh, I need to run home and get that Tales book. Yeah, definitely. So, until next time, get buying. Get get e-buying. But buy safely, though. Don't go crazy just buying shit you don't need. I gotta throw that warning in there. Okay, guys. good, good. Yeah, exactly. Disclaimers! We gotta go now. See you guys, and thank you.